Hey YouTube, this is Southern Proper One and welcome to the news. The Biden administration is forcing out 11 Trump appointed military service advisory board. These are people that serve at the Naval Academy, West Point and Air Force Academy. They are appointed for a three year term and their job is to inquire into the state of morale and discipline, the curriculum, instruction, physical equipment, fiscal affairs, academic uh, methods and other matters relating to the academy. They're normally appointed for three years and they do serve their three year terms even when the presidents change. But the White House has asked for their immediate resignations and the White House said it is to ensure that the advisory board members were qualified to serve and to align with President Biden's values. And to align with President Biden's values. That is the true reason for their resignations to be asked for. Treasure, Treasure Terror. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen issued a warning to Congress that the debt ceiling will need to be raised next month. If they fail to raise the debt ceiling, we will have a fiscal problem. In France, 100 plus Kurds and African migrants fought. It started when two 10 year olds, one Kurdish and one African, got into a skirmish outside while they were playing. It resulted in and baseball bats, iron bars, knives, axes, hatchets being used against each other. Uh, several were severely beaten and wounded. The police had to come in with riot control agents and tear gas to break up the riot between the two groups of migrants. It looks like the White House is withdrawing the nomination of David Chipman to head the ATF. That is good news for the Second Amendment. Also, Prince, Prince Andrew has fled to the Queen's private estate they are trying to serve him legal papers involving a sexual assault claim, and he is hiding. Recent polls showed that 39% approve of Biden, and 60% said the country is going in the wrong direction. The Los Angeles Police Department have been instructed to collect social media users' names when they're dealing with the public. This is everyone they in, to include, not even people arrested or charged, but anyone they come in contact with to get their social user's name to have it on file. Also, Senator Rand Paul has asked the Justice Department to file charges against Fauci. Anthony Fauci uh, lied in front of Congress and now with some new information that just came out, it will back this up and prove that he lied and covered up about a lab across the ocean. Fort McCoy, Wisconsin. There is a case of the measles. The measles is a very contagious virus that was probably brought from an Afghan refugee to the United States. Nadal Hassan, the murderer at Texas that killed 14 and wounded 43 at Fort Hood, congratulated the Taliban for their victory over the United States. He is currently on death row at Fort Leavenworth. Four Gitmo prisoners that we traded for Bo Bergdahl are now part of the Taliban government. They're actual ministers of the Taliban government. The federal government identified Phoenix as the best place to resettle Afghan refugees. The governor and house speaker in Arizona is welcoming these refugees. The refugees will be given $1,100 monthly stipend. Biden is asking Congress for $6.4 billion to resettle 95,000 unvetted Afghan refugees. Russia and Belarus are holding between September 10th and 16th a major war games. Uh, it will include over nine sites that they will have it on. It will involve 200,000 soldiers, 80 planes and helicopters, 290 tanks, and over 15 ships. China is also flexing its muscles. So far this year, they've conducted 20 naval exercises, and all these involved capturing islands. The CDC is changing their definition of vaccination, and they did it on September 1st. The old definition included the words produce immunity, produce immunity. The new definition states produce protection. Rutgers students are being disenrolled from online classes. No jab, no education. The chief health officer in New South Wales, Australia, referred to the post lockdown as the new world order. She also said, we will be looking at what contract tracing will look like in the new world order. They're not hiding it anymore. And finally, the Biden administration says, if you take out beef, pork, poultry, food inflation is not that bad. Thanks for watching.